Now to a developing story out of Suffolk. Friends and family are mourning the loss of an NSU student shot and killed last night. Right now it appears as though the student was targeted. Suffolk police say they found 20-year-old Brandon Alston on the other side of a door around 11 p.m. You can see the bullet holes coming up in just a minute. The shattered glass that was left behind happened on the 200 block of Blackstone Way and Greystone Trace. Melanie Woodrow's live now. Melanie, what can you tell us? Well, you can see some friends have been by. They've placed some flowers outside the home where this shooting occurred. A lot of the people I spoke with told me that they couldn't believe anybody would want to hurt Brandon Alston. They also can't believe that such a violent crime would happen in this otherwise quiet neighborhood. Suffolk police say 20-year-old Brandon Alston was shot and killed inside his home. Outside, two bullet holes and shattered glass. Too much for Alston's high school friend, Asia Goodwin. You know, I watched from my, literally from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock this morning. I was looking out the window, watching every move. Um, I watched them carry him out. That must have been awful. It's hurtful. Goodwin said the NSU student had more friends than enemies. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Less than 12 hours later, Alston's neighbors were moving out. It was just really bad timing. Artie Lockrent said he wasn't moving because of the homicide, but he was concerned the homicide nearly kept him from moving. You don't want to scare off buyers. Those buyers went through with the purchase today, trusting Lockrent that the crime was highly unusual for this area. In seven years, the worst thing that's ever happened to me is I found a plastic bottle in my lawn, and then it goes from nothing to this. A college student's life ended with an investigation's end still out of sight. It was surprising to hear about the situation, but, you know, things happen, and it's unfortunate that it happened to good people. Some of Brandon Alston's friends told me that they were planning on having a candlelight vigil here this evening once the sun goes down. Reporting live in Suffolk, Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side. This was Suffolk's first homicide of the year.